And welcome you back into another edition of the Dodger Poker Report main feature cut. Today's main feature is on the number one pitching prospect in the Dodgers organization, Ryan Pepio. Ryan had a very dominant performance yesterday in his two innings against the Padres. So let's get to it and let's find out what made him so successful. Here is the big right-hander from the Indianapolis area. You see him getting his breathing under control. He is a football background guy. He was a great quarterback in the Indianapolis area. I actually have some video of him on my Instagram feed, tearing up some defenses, playing quarterback back in high school. So Pepio, very competitive guy. And we're gonna see the sequence here. Here is that fastball on the inner half to a very good professional hitter in Jake Cronenworth for strike one. Pepio is 96, 97 on his fastball. So he, it, you know, it comes out of his hand pretty good. And you know, 96, 97 for a starting pitcher is very good. Now his changeup is what a lot of people think is the best pitch in the entire organization. And that is his changeup. What makes, what makes his changeup so successful? Well, for one, obviously the pitch metrics, you know, has a lot of tumble and fade, but for two, Look how he tunneled it off the fastball. That top pitch you're seeing there is the fastball. The bottom pitch is the changeup, and you see it came out of the exact same tunnel. So when it tumbled and faded, that is why the timing was off from Cronenworth, and that is why he was not able to hit the ball hard at all. Let's go through this again, and when, whenever we do go through it again, Pepio, you know, he gets ahead of the count with the fastball here on the inner half to make sure that he does not get ambushed. He makes a very good pitch here to Cronenworth. So... Here's the fastball we're going to see for strike one, a good strike to Cronenworth. And again, whenever we see this next pitch, the changeup, and you know, like I said, a lot of people think Pepio's changeup is not the best changeup in the organization, but the best pitch overall of any pitcher in any pitch in the organization. What I want you to see, watch it come out of the exact same tunnel and watch that Cronenworth does not have good timing and he's not able to put it on the barrel because of it. So that is an elite element for Ryan Pepio. How he is able to tunnel that change up off of his fastball. So there's one element that, in my opinion, is going to make Ryan Pepio a very good major league pitcher for a long, long time. Here's another one. Will Myers just kind of looks confused on that change up. It flutters in there for strike one. And when major league pitchers can throw strike one with two different pitches that are 10 miles an hour apart from each other, hitters hit 067 on that first pitch. So it is vitally important that Pepio land something off speed that is 10 miles an hour off his fastball for strike one, which he did with his changeup, which is 10 miles an hour off his fastball to a very good major league hitter and Will Myers. So what does he back that up with? A fastball up and in. So you've had the changeup that's 10 miles an hour off the fastball to start with for strike one. Now you've gone up and in. So now Myers has you know, really no idea what's coming. So you kind of, you know, entice him to swing at maybe something, a couple of baseballs off the plate. Because Pepio, we saw in that last sequence to Cronenworth, he can throw that change up to that same tunnel and get it to hop back over the plate with the fade he gives on the pitch. So Myers has to be aware of that. So now you throw that slider. So you've seen the change up that has the fade that comes into the right-hander Myers has. Now we've seen the slider that breaks away from the right-handed hitter. You've seen the riding fastball up and into the zone. And now, so you've seen the, the fade into a righty. You've seen the cut away from the righty with the slider. You've seen the, the riding effect where it looks like the ball's going up in the zone. So now one thing that you have left is you need to give the tumble. That, that gives the downward appearance. So you've had the right appearance with the fastball. You've had the tumble now with the change up. You've had the fade that breaks into a righty with the changeup, and you've had the cut with the slider that breaks away from a right-hander. So now Will Smith has ever has seen every shape of a kind of a pitch that he could possibly see, and that's why whenever he gets a fastball in the inner half of the plate, he's just simply late because he's seen every shape that a pitch could possibly have coming in on him, coming away from him, riding up in the zone, tumbling down out of the zone, and he's seen Pepio now on multiple pitches change speeds. So Pepio's used every side of the plate. He's used every shape. He has changed speeds. And because of that, you're going to get a very good major league professional hitter to do this. Just simply can't pull the trigger. Will Myers has no idea what's coming. And as you look at the look on his face, he is totally confused, not even upset because that sequence, when you're able to change speeds and create four different kinds of shape, every kind of shape that you would need, fade coming into a hitter, fade cutting away from a hitter, Fade riding up in the zone, 
or excuse me, ride going up in the zone and then tumble down the zone. You've seen every shape. You've seen the pitcher change speeds. You've seen the pitcher locate both on the inside part of the plate and the outside part of the plate, up in the zone, down the zone. Really, as a professional hitter, there's absolutely nothing you can do if that pitcher continues to land those pitches for strikes. And that's why you saw Will Myers just simply freeze on a good 96-mile-an-hour fastball on the outer half and in the bottom of the zone. So not only does Ryan Pepio have the pitch metrics, that's one thing. Most major league pitchers, you know, most professional pitchers, you can go all the way down to rookie ball, they have the pitch metrics. You know, a lot of these guys, you know, even down in rookie ball, they are 96, 97. The metrics on their change up with the tumbling fade is off the charts. You know, you know, the horizontal break and the and the depth on their sliders is very good. But you know what separates Guys like that from a guy like Ryan Pepio, who's going to be a very, very, very good major league pitcher for a long time, is how they can sequence those. How can they tunnel them? And then not only sequence and tunnel them, can they do that all while they're staying in the strike zone with it, of which you just saw Ryan Pepio do to Will Myers. And Ryan Pepio is able to do that. He's able to tunnel his changeup. He's able to tunnel his slider. He's able to use He's able to use every part of the zone, inside, outside, up, down, he has every shape to a pitch, and he totally, totally, totally understands how to tunnel and sequence. And then, to cap it all off, he is very competitive, so he is able to actually execute all of those things. And when he does, you see exactly what you saw with the, the freezing of a very good Will Myers, a Major League Baseball hitter. I'm glad that you tuned to another Dodger poke. I'm glad you tuned into another Dodger poke main feature cut on Ryan Pepio today, and I hope that you log on to DodgerPokeReport.com or visit Dodger Poke on any of the social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok. We also have a podcast, so go to your podcast streaming service of your choice and just search Dodger Poke Report and never miss a thing from Dodger Poke. As always, I'm glad that you tuned in, and go Dodgers!